Welcome back to Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff, and in this video, we're going to be looking at another special test that's used in the assessment of labral tears, and that is the crank test. Let's talk about it in more detail right now. So, to perform the crank test, the patient will be positioned in supine, as you see over here, and the PT will stabilize the patient's shoulder and bring their shoulder to approximately 160 degrees in the scapular plane. Once we're in that position, we apply the following forces, axial compression of the humerus into the glenoid, and then oscillating between internal and external rotation. Now, if you're looking at that description, and then when we watch the video, if you think this test is very similar to the compression rotation test that we covered earlier, you're absolutely right. In fact, you could argue that the crank test is just the compression rotation test in a specific position. Because with the compression rotation test, it doesn't really matter what angle the shoulder's at. You can do it uh, in the abduction plane here at 90. You could do it down here below 90. You could do it above 90. And then any combination of horizontal abduction or adduction. Okay, You're still applying axial compression and internal and external rotation. The crank test really just takes that to a specific position, okay? So they're virtually the same test, except here you're required to do it in 160 degrees in the scapular plane, okay? So just understand going into that. If you're getting them confused, they are very, very similar, okay? So let's take a look. So I'm gonna bring her shoulder to approximately 160 degrees in the scapular plane. And my left hand here is what's stabilizing the patient's shoulder, okay? My right hand here, I'm grasping really the bicondylar aspect of the humerus. We want to be general, just the distal humerus. And then that's what's going to apply the axial compression and then move through internal and external rotation. Okay, So stabilize the patient's shoulder, axial compression, and then internal and external rotation. Okay, This is how you perform the crank test. Now, a positive crank test is indicated by clicking, grinding, or a clunk, okay? Again, we're dealing with a special test that's indicating a labral tear. So, if there's a labral tear, you're probably gonna have either the patient report any of these three things, or you're gonna feel or hear those three things, okay? And oftentimes with this test, it'll be accompanied by reproduction of the patient's familiar shoulder pain. As we've seen, Usually labral tears, the pain is deep and diffuse within the glenohumeral joint itself, okay? It's not gonna be superficial and it generally is not well localized. Another note here with the crank test, most of the time when the patient has an increase in pain, it's gonna be in the externally rotated position. So as you're moving them more into internal rotation, there still could be pain, but it's gonna be worse as you go into that externally rotated position. Okay, So hopefully this video gave you a good understanding of the crank test. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button for notifications for all videos in the future. Thank you so much.